The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman takes game one of a three-game series against Limestone. 16-6 with Coach Tom Griffin and Michael Watchering for the Eagles Sports Network. Coach, uh, let's start with your offensive effort. Season-high four home runs in this ball game. At one point, you led by 13 runs. What did you see from your hitter's approach inside of the box in this game? Well, as we, we talked about, I mean, uh, I think Sunday and then moving into this week, I think the bats have been, you know, it looks mm-hmm. like we've had good approaches. The big thing, as we talked about, runners in scoring position, what's happening with runners in scoring position. And today, we were fortunate enough to have some good at-bats. Uh, I think you know, one of the approaches I think all hitters think about is is the ability to use the whole field, especially with two strikes. Can you let the ball travel a little deeper? Try to avoid the breaking ball in the dirt and getting way out in front of it. And I thought our guys did a good job, some at bats, of really working more of the middle of the field. Um, and coming up with big hits is what we needed. And so really, really good job by a lot of uh, veteran hitters. Um, and then to get some young guys in there as well. Uh, uh, Dylan Dotson with his uh, first uh, career hit, which is, uh, again, we've had a couple of those this week, which is always uh, awesome. So really good day offensively for us, no question. Conversely, you dealt with a lot of traffic on the base paths on the mound. Uh, a lot of walks. You have three home runs in that one inning. What did yeah. you What did you see on the on the bump from your guys against well, their lineup? I think you know, got to give credit to them. Their hitters did a good job. I mean, and, and I'll tell you, uh, Brett, uh, first year coach there, he was at Furman, um, and then they had uh, dropped the the program, but he had done a phenomenal job there as a coach and. Um, you know, it, it, it first year it takes time to get your guys in, but I think he's got the culture. You know, you watch the way they play and what they do, and we've watched earlier games. He's he's getting the culture he needs. It just takes time, but I thought their kids kept playing hard and played the game the right way. And so, uh, you know, credit to their hitters. They never stopped taking swings, and, and um, we did. We fell behind. We walked way too many guys, too many freebies. Um, and especially when we got a lead like that, and we told May saying, listen, man, now let's just let's not fall behind. Let's go right and go right after him. And when that happens, balls are going to get hit. And then there's a point where it's like, okay, now I got to be competitive with these pitches. Mm-hmm. And so, um, but it was good to see Tyler come in. Shavers put up a couple zeros right there. But you're right. I think um, way too many freebies and walks uh, for today for us. We talked about it a few days ago. Not necessarily pressure on your group, but certainly an important series. How important was it? A quick start, seven runs in the first two innings today. No doubt. I mean, you breathe a little easier. You're a little more relaxed, obviously, when you can get, you know, a lead like that. And um, so, yeah, that's big. Mm -hmm. Now, we celebrated it, and you'll celebrate it until you go to bed. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to bed and you wake up tomorrow, (laughs) it's a clean slate. And you want your guys coming in with the same mindset they had here. One pitch we worry about and uh, competing against the baseball. Uh, be the best version of yourself that day and make sure you have good awareness and readiness in between pitches. And so that's all we've got to get our guys to understand. But we are in the month of April. And as you saw, you said, we're pretty good in April. So, so far, so good. Um, and we're good. We're, we're pretty good in orange. Um, as you said, so we're going to wear orange every day if we can. So, uh, no, it was a good, good day for us. And then tomorrow we got senior day. Mm-hmm. We're going to um, uh, introduce and uh, have our, all our seniors out there. And that's always a special day. Uh, sad, uh, but also it's kind of like, hey, now they're entering the real mm-hmm. world here in a way. And uh, all the uh, contributions they've made to the program, mostly off the field uh, as well as on the field. Coach, really appreciate the time. Congrats on the win. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate you. He's Coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watching for the Eagle Sports Network.